Matt, nice to meet you. Nice okay, so I didn't get all of what you were saying. Okay. So this, this is what he did. He was changing. Hi. He was changing the spark plugs, and the ones that are in the back back here. Um, he could he put the 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 socket down in there. He put a magnet on it and to lower the socket down in there because it's in a tight spot yeah. so he tightened it and when he pulled it up that magnet dropped and he used a another like bit that had teeth on it to grind that magnet up which i thought was a horrible idea but that's what he did i don't know anything about nothing so he done that and then he finally gets it out and then when he tries to put the new spark plug back in there it was hard to get in so he was like forcing it in there. And so, then and then was, what's like, it doing now? Like, 10 threads down, and then he pulls it back out and keeps trying or whatever, whatever. I went it, to go start it. Yeah, no, it won't start. Didn't start. But it did start all. before. Yeah, before we it's done like it's not anything. Connection or something. It, now it's just not starting at all. Well, so that's your combustion chamber right there, and then grinding all that up, taking that, the freaking spark plug out, all that shit fell into your combustion chamber. Where your piston sits and that could do some terrifying shit to the inside of the engine yeah yikes so, so um, is it making some noises when yeah, yeah like, like it was trying to start no i mean I like plug is it sitting all the way down why it's not combusting well does it make noise That's, when you like does the engine itself make noise when you try to start it i can't what did it do it's, it's a spark plug it's the same noise you'd have if you had the spark plug out that tires won't fucking turn over. Okay. I think it's the battery though. There's a few different ways. As long as nothing got inside. He sucked it all out. So shit. he, like, so when he, he took it. the magnet, he took another magnet and he was pulling the magnet pieces out before he actually got the old spark plug back out. And okay, because. Like sucking it all out. <laughs> well, because if you're just losing combustion there, um, then there's a few different ways that you can treat that thread. You can heli coil it. You can. Right. Um, you know, retap it with some. That's what I was gonna say. If you can re fucking rethread it. Yeah. But it's a the, that's the only thing is there. the because of how it's positioned, you'd you can't literally. See the piston or nothing. It would literally have to be positioned upright. You'd have to. Yeah. Well, either take the motor out or take if if depending on where it's at. If I'm able to take the motor mounts out and maybe jack up the engine to where I can rotate itself to where I can kind of lean it forward and get to it because it needs to be upright there. I wouldn't feel comfortable trying to do a rethread on like a sideways position or something, right. especially on a park, dude. Because you that would trash your whole cylinder head. Yeah, you would need a whole new cylinder head. The only good thing is that about the first, say six, seven full threads, is they're there, so you can at least start it. Yeah. I don't know if that would make you any more comfortable or not, though. Yeah. No, I mean it's just I can, I've done them, uh, but inside like. At the shop that I worked at, we would have to fucking pull it. But being mobile, it's a bit different. You know what I mean? So, um, I could, you know, potentially I'd have to take a look at the engine. It's just a little, because if he tried, you know, took it out, because relatively that's how somebody would try to chase threads is like taking it out and then putting it back in and taking it out and putting it back. In. But those spark plugs, they don't, they're not threaded like that. They're shit. Yeah, they're just made of nothing really. Mhm. Mm yeah, you can take. Got the old one all the way down. Got full 17 turns. Yeah. And I pulled it out and I went to go put that new one in and it just it wouldn't go. Yeah. And then, then, yeah, once I pulled it out, then bottom three threads was We're just fucking gone. Up. Yeah. Like, Freak out. Well, I mean, you're in good hands because I've done uh, I've done a bunch of rethreads, but it just let me get my flashlight and see if I can. If I if it looks like I can rotate that thing, then I'll freaking give it a good old college try. I mean, you don't really owe me a diagnosis fee because you already knew what the damn problem was. I thought I was coming over here to figure out what you already knew, oh, so you don't owe right, me nothing. Right. But um, how do? Then how how much is? That's where the question comes yeah. into play. I haven't done one of these yet. On, I've only been recording for like a year, and I've been mobile for like two and a half, and so I've done three of them total. Uh, that's not not too bad of a spot but uh, i would for sure have to reposition it but um the other ones were terrible but i haven't i haven't been able to videotape any so this will be cool to do it'll be interesting i mean they're for sure right 
Yeah, you should have, yeah. I mean, she just changed my CV axle on this one. And so. I did her headlights. And she did my headlights. Oh, wow, really? <laughs> I love shit like that, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. She did a great grandma. But uh, well, I left him in charge. I was having a random misfire. So yeah. we started with the spark plugs first. So I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna, I don't even know now. Yeah. I don't know if it was just the spark plugs or the coil packs or, coil packs or but that's you, still, so it's still probably gonna be a problem. I still think we've gotta get it. You would always want to in a misfire scenario, no. if, unless you have money just for the plugs. You would always want to just swap the coils. Yeah. yeah. So take one off and put it in different places. Yeah, I know. So the, start then we'll, we'll talk about that after we get yeah. started. <laughs> get it started. But, uh, <laughs> it's starting, but still misfire. Yeah. I'll be happy with it still starting. Yeah. I'm like. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, that would started. be. I'm, I can I only cried. imagine. I sat in my car and I cried oh, tears. Oh no. When it didn't start, I was like. Fuck. No, Fuck. yeah. Not my legs, this. Well, yeah, and especially when you just had a misfire and you're just wanting like God, I just a tune-up. Yeah, I know it took a month. What we so. thought could have been a simple fix right. for a nightmare. Yeah. What's up, man? Brantley. Brantley, that's a cool name, dude. Sorry that that happened. Yeah. So. Hopefully we can fix it. Not yeah. Oh, we'll get it. We'll get it, yeah, fixed, it fixed, man. We'll get it fixed. So. Yeah. Yeah. Optimistic. Hey guys, so here's the deal. Normally I wouldn't do a job like that, but uh, because somebody else done messed it the fuck up. But you guys heard how upset she was about it and how she literally just wants it fixed. So, and that's right up my alley. You know what I mean? So stay tuned for part two on that. Guys, she just wanted to tune up. I mean, I get the guy was just trying to do his own work and not have to pay for that, but you're paying a lot more now, a whole lot more now. And uh, man, it's just unfortunate.